Mr. King. Today I'm going to walk through and tell you about a Russian suburb. Well, since I started Letters to King, uh, I've been asked many times from the people I know and from friends and the family. They asked me to show them regular, usual Russian people live, where they live, where they show up, and you know, just regular life. So I decided to start with a suburb. I'm going to walk through a typical Russian suburb and uh, show you where Russians live. So I'm down south near a large southern city where about one million people live. Um, the place is called Rostov Andon and this is a typical suburb. This place is a gated community of a few hundred townhouses and it's about six miles from from the city, from downtown. Uh, it's, a cons it's considered a middle, upper middle class community where um, well-to-do people live. Well-to-do by Russian standards. Uh, I'm going to show you the houses themselves. Uh, on the outside and then I'm going to take you on a tour of one of the townhouse from the inside so let's go so this is a late February Saturday afternoon it's been snowing for two days the wind's been blowing and it's cold it's nasty out usually you can see like many people walking on the sidewalks, you know, mothers with children, small kids taking strolls, people walking their dogs, and well, like, this is Saturday, you know, weekend, but it's been blowing hard and it's so cold that everyone is staying home, probably drinking vodka. No, I'm just kidding. Russians don't drink vodka. <laughs> kidding again. <laughs> Um, rarely you can see cars because no one wants to get out on the roads in this weather. Um, that far away you can see the gates. Actually, no one can get inside unless the owner of the place gives a permission and places a car or a person's name on the list. Okay, that's the only way you can get in here. Um, Russia is not extremely dangerous, but it's okay, but this place is safe because um, there are only people who live here. Uh, you can see a couple of Russians just trying to get into their car. Uh, usually Russian people are very camera friendly. They're not afraid of cameras. You can come up and speak to them freely. They would just... They probably wouldn't even ask a question. All houses here are absolutely same on the inside and on the outside. Um, this is one style community, so the houses differ only how they're finished and furnished inside, and it depends on their owners. These houses sell in the range from 100 to 150,000 American dollars. The price difference depends on what's inside of the house, how it's finished, what kind of materials used. No, uh, sometimes they even sell with the furniture. Everything else is the same. My friend King Weinstein, the real estate developer, would love to take a look at these houses, I'm sure. This reminds me of the communities that he builds in southern Maine around Biddeford, Saco, Old Orchard Beach area. So they kind of look, you know, <laughs> alike. Anyway, uh, this place is very car dependent. In order to live here, you should have a car. You must have a car. The families here have at least one car. Most cars are not terribly expensive. From ten to $20,000. That's my estimation. Uh, they are Korean, South Korean brands. Mostly Hyundai, Hyundai and Kia. Yeah, decent cars, but just basic transportation. Oh. That's a nice house with a overhang. In the summertime, this place is 100% better. 
it's all green, all clean, snow free, you know, it's it's real nice to walk and stroll here. Today, again, it's a nasty day. The wind's blowing, the snow is right in my face. Ugh. Wow. Hey, you can see a Toyota and a Mitsubishi here. Check this out. Yeah, it's a Mitsubishi and a Toyota. Well, there you go. Now we'll try to get outside of this little community and see how it looks from, from the outside. You can see the gates and to your left there is a nice spa hotel and restaurant. That's usually open in the summertime. I believe it's closed for the season now. And there's a little shopping plaza. You could see it a little further. Uh, like I said, there is a highway. This place is car dependent. And it's adjacent to a major highway. So it's really convenient to get to the center of the city, which is uh, about six or seven miles away it takes about 15 minutes to get there yeah, usually usually there's very little traffic there is an overpass so people could uh, you know cross the highway uh, there's a dealer of some heavy machinery I believe it's either Klaus or John Deere so these are the convenience stores I believe there's a little restaurant or cafe, then um, a grocery store, a little bakery, a service shop for electronics, mobile phones, things like that, a little car wash, probably for one or for two cars, for two cars, and there's a butcher shop. Not bad. Uh, very decent, very compact. Uh, prices well not cheap it's more expensive uh, if compared with a regular convenience store in the city somewhere but that's kind of isolated location that's why there's one car trying to get in I believe it's one of the owners otherwise he'd not be let in to this place oh check this out this is Russian high-tech style the security guard uses his hand to lift up the gate. <laughs> well, that's typical. <laughs> okay. Russia is so advanced, you know. You can see it's blowing. It's blowing real hard. Man, ah, I'm so cold. I'm freezing. My hands, I can't feel my fingers anymore. <laughs> That's all right. I personally like this place a lot. I find it very, very inviting when it's warm. Uh, it's very quiet. There's plenty of families. Yeah, most most of families here are either retired or families younger families with children. There is a playground right in the center of this community for the kids. Oh, check this out! This is a Russian old Russian beater. Ah, I can't believe this. Uh, the car is called Jiguli. That's from the Soviet times. It's probably 25 years old. Actually, I was learning how to drive in one of those. Tell you it's not very comfortable and it's um, well I'd rather drive a Mercedes <laughs> than this uh, this car must cost around 400 bucks and I think it would be really a real hard sell for that price yeah. uh, let's look inside hey check this out the custom sports seats I can't believe this, man, the custom sports seats in this. These seats cost more than a car, maybe twice as much. Around 1000 bucks, and the car is 400 Well, only in Russia, you know. 
there's a playground I told you about. Oh, it doesn't look good now. Okay, but it's it's much better. Hi, Mercedes. Okay, there is luxury cars here. Again, all houses look the same. Uh, but I like them. They're decent. Um, there, there's very little crime in this place, and all neighbors know each other, so you see they leave out bikes on porches, and no one takes them, you know, no one steals anything. That's a pretty cool place. It's not like regular, typical Russian community, because most Russians live in apartments, in apartment blocks, in apartments, uh, a block of like 150 to 300 apartments and this is so much so much different this is quiet this is nice this is comfortable you know um, fewer people and just overall it's much nicer living experience here now I'm gonna take you inside and of one of the townhouses and show you how it looks like on the inside Okay, uh, again, it's cold, <laughs> man, it's cold, cold, cold today, end of February. Ooh, looks nice and warm on the inside, there you go, here we go, the hardwood floors, stairs to the second floor, the living, living room up front, and to the right there is a kitchen. The main place at any house, the kitchen, that's the entrance door. Hmm. It's nice. Okay, there's greenery, plenty of greens, as the kitchen cabinets. This house belongs to a retired couple of two professionals. Oh, there's a, a air conditioning system and uh, natural gas supply. Most Russian houses have natural gas supply. Uh, cabinets, kitchen cabinets, uh, sub-zero fridge, uh, oven, stovetop, gas four burner stovetop, you know, faucet sink, it's regular regular stuff kettle for tea russians love tea by the way okay russians drink very little coffee but tea the tile floors um nice nice this is a very comfortable place very warm very nicely designed it's actually a place i w i could see ourselves uh i could see my family and I, myself living it it's that nice again it's basic it's not really like a luxury environment but it's very simple it's very stylish it's very clean uh, you know very nice place to live so this is the living room very few decorations sort of minimalistic look as a china cabinet couch, the TV set, you know, there's a DVD player and the books, flowers, a bunch of flowers, uh, Xbox, oh yeah, and this is how a backyard looks like, this backyard is fantastic in the summertime, there's a barbecue, uh, they set up a table with a large table umbrella, uh, there is a green grass lawn, it's a fantastic place, but in the winter, in Russia, it's bleak, now Pine we're back trees. to the living usually, room, it's not the usual site for yeah, the south cabinet. of Russia, looks, looks nice, we have pine trees, to the, to the left, there is the bathroom on the first floor, it's not huge, kind of smallish, but you know not bad there's a stand-in shower a faucet toilet a large mirror 
uh, all tiles. And to the right there is an access to a uh, basement. This place has a large 60 square meters basement, uh, which is 600 square feet basement. Uh, there's a washing machine. Hey, and way detergent. I've used that for, I don't know, 10 years, I think. Amway is big in Russia, by the way. People do business and use their products. So, uh, hey, preserves. Like I said, this place belongs to a uh, retired couple. Uh, they're in their 70s, early 70s, I believe. Um, just a very cozy place to live for all the people that's actually again I see myself and my family living in this place hey okay, there's a little boy another one a baseball player <laughs> unbelievable baseball player in Russia Aha, uh -huh. these are the owners. They look happy. This is the master bathroom with a bathtub. It's large. It's, well, it's actually grand. Very nice tiles. Large mirror. Very, very bright. It's all lit up. In reality, it looks much better than on video. It's much, much more attractive. There is master bedroom, a large bed, thick mattress. Oh, looks very uh, designed. Hardwood floor everywhere, as you can see. And this is the dark room, the walk-in walk -in closet, and the Russians call the walk-in closets dark rooms. Okay, it's basic storage. Um, the retired couple, they don't use it. Very convenient. You can store all your stuff in here. There's not much clothing, but there are plenty of towels for some reason. Okay, let's move on. We go into the cabinet. That's a little room at the end of the corridor. Little ice artwork on the wall. So this room is actually uh, quite smallish. There's a little sofa bed on it, and there's a desk. This is used as a computer room or a cabinet. Reading room. Ooh, it's snowing even harder outside. Gosh, Russia is a very nice and beautiful country, but in the winter time, it turns bleak. Gosh, look at this. Snow and wind. No wonder Russians drink so much. They just want to sit inside and drink. There's not much to do. Just warm themselves up. Shelves with books. You know, um, the greens everywhere. And this is a little guest bedroom. For visiting guests. It's decent. And this is how the backyard looks from the second floor. There's a barbecue and snow, snow, snow. It's getting dark already. The pine trees 
oh, these trees are fantastic in the summertime. You know, when it's hot, they just, they warm up and they smell so good. But not right now. Has a nice house right there behind the pine trees. And on the, on that side of the street that we're looking on right now, uh, there are houses. Not townhouses, but irregular detached houses. You know, this house reminds me a lot of the places that we used to have in the USA. Believe it or not, there is not much of a difference. It's same spacious, cozy, comfortable, warm, nice, has a nice kitchen, nice play area, and, and it costs less. But you know what? It's not dirt cheap. Far from it. So this has been a walkthrough of, a, well, more or less regular Russian gated community and a place of a regular Russian family. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep tuning in.